Hi, I'm George Jensen, lead pastor here at ECOG. Thank you so much for watching this episode of What's Up With That, where we answer questions for skeptics, seekers, and believers. I'm coming to you today from the upper room here at ECOG, a great place to come and meditate. Today I wanted to talk to you about meditation. I recently was talking with someone who practices Eastern meditation, and I found out that Basically, there's a big difference between Eastern meditation and Christian meditation. In fact, they're very different. What's up with that? A major aspect of Eastern meditation is emptying your mind. It kind of works like this. Let's pretend that this stand represents your mind. And let's pretend that these blocks represent negative thinking, negative thoughts, bad things that, well, you need to get rid of them. In Eastern meditation, emptying one's mind basically does this. It gets rid of them, and your mind is empty. But there's one problem with that. What's left? And what other kind of negative things or worse could come back in? Now here's how Christian meditation works. Again, maybe your mind still has those negative thoughts. They're difficult to deal with. And there are all those negative thoughts in your mind, but the difference is that for the Christian, the Christian doesn't empty the mind, but fills the mind with God's Word. And when this happens, look at the result. All those negative thoughts, all that negative thinking, it's still gone, but you filled your mind with the Word of God. And that is a really good thing. In fact, it's a blessed thing. The psalmist said in Psalm chapter 1, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, or stands in the way of sinners, or sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Do you see the difference between the two? Eastern meditation versus Christian meditation? If you've never practiced Christian meditation before, I encourage you to try it. Simply take a passage, maybe out of the book of Psalms or the Gospel of John, and read it carefully, read it slowly, and think about what it says, and allow it to bless you, and to nurture you, and to fill you. And you will be amazed at how those negative thoughts go away, and those good messages, those good thoughts, those good principles from the Word of God will stay with you. And that's what's up with that. Hey, thanks so much for watching. And we invite you to join us here at ECOG, where we make it our purpose to be guiding people to salvation and preparing people to face the storms of life. Be blessed.